All right, guys, this is a little review of the uh, Rosewill um, DSLR camera bag. This is the larger one available on the Newegg site for $39. I purchased it for $39 uh, two days ago, and it got delivered quite quickly. It has a, um, the model number is RDCB12001, 12001, um, and it's got a, quite a bunch of features. It's about uh, 10 and a half inches deep, about 18 inches high, about 13 inches wide. Now, I'm gonna use this bag for my FPV equipment, my first person view camera equipment for, uh, or first person view flying equipment for um, RC flying. Uh, so, I'll show you my current bag, which needs, which needs some help. Here we are. So this bag has been working great, but uh, the idea is to have quick access to my transmitter and goggles so I can pull everything out and fly. Goggles right here, and my transmitter right here. Um, these are actually uh, pool noodles cut to protect the sticks on the transmitter. Now this setup actually works quite well. Um, the big problem is my bag's falling apart, and I want something a bit more rigid that I can uh, depend on a little more. Um, and also I want to unload some of the junk I got in here. In the front portion I have my antennas, uh, and this is actually a helical. I snap the helical on and I put it on a tripod or a mast. And in the front I have uh, repair gear, extra props, and uh, stuff you would need like an X-Acto knife, flashlight, mobile soldering iron, things like that. Um, but as you can see it's falling apart and it's just not really that great of a bag to protect your gear. So it's just what I had at the time. This bag seems to work, seems like it will work quite well. So let's take a look at the outside of this bag here and um, it's got some cool features. It's got this, uh, this strap here which will allow you to strap down a tripod or in my case a quadcopter or tricopter. This area passes completely through so you can put your own strap through there for whatever you would need. It's got a decent carabiner, you know, uh, for lightweight things. Um, this area would be great for attaching whatever you need to the outside. It has, uh, obviously it can be tightened. And these little hooks, you can undo one end of them and open this up if you ever need to and rehook it. Probably need to stick a little tool in there to do that, but it looks like those will open up. Uh, under here, we've got a rain hood for the bag itself, um, which is pretty cool. You can see a picture of that on Newegg's site. Um, and there's a pocket here, no padding on the outside, but there's a pocket here. So this bag is intended to carry a 17 inch laptop. Um, and I think it will do that just fine. So let's look at what else we got here on the outside. Uh, this side we have a nice padded area against your back in case you're sweaty. We've also got this belt strap, which it could fit a sizable person it looks like. Uh, the connector seems like a decent quality, for, especially for $39. Um, you've got a chest strap, which you can shorten up to about here. It's a little elastic on there, and it's adjustable in height. You have a little cell phone pocket and a little pocket for small things, SD cards, memory stick, whatever you want to put in there. This is kind of neat. Um, I'll show you that in a second. On the top here, we've got a uh, we've got a, um, a carrying handle that has a cable going through it that is riveted uh, securely into the rest of the bag, so you have a place where you can. Um, paddle lock the bag, I guess, to something if you need to, but this is very secure. And the bag isn't really that heavy either, so it's a pretty cool feature. It makes the bag look pretty heavy duty. Um, and also the bag is really rigid. Even without the supporting structures in the inside, it's pretty rigid. And the, the build material is pretty nice. It's pretty tough stuff. It looks like really good for $39. So this is actually a headphone jack. And um, you could, FPV guys could use it to run their video out to another receiver if they wanted to or something. But this little guy goes right up into the 
laptop compartment right here. You've got a connector and you've got this little pocket for a, a cell phone or a um, iPod or whatever you want to put in there. It's kind of neat. Uh, here is where your laptop would go and I might put my FPV monitor right here actually so I can have it like this and can see it quite well. It's not a bad spot for it actually. It's out of the way from everything in the bag. So um, this area is about an inch deep, you know, uh, and it's padded on both sides. Padded from the inside and padded from the back side. There's also a padded pocket padded on both sides, you know, for a smaller laptop or a um, tablet. It's pretty, pretty neat. These zippers aren't the best. This one tends to hang out right here a little bit. Um, see how long they hold up. But they're not big, thick zippers like, like you'd really want. Alright, so now I've got a top access door here. And um, it's padded. It's got a little pocket here with several pockets on the inside. As well as a big main pocket. These would be good for, you know, whatever you want to put in here. Memory cards or maybe uh, put a lipo in there. Just one probably. There's some pockets here. And this little shelf. Um, opens up to the main compartment. Uh, it does not completely detach. It's sewn in on the back, but it's velcroed in up front. And it's quite robust, actually. So, um, you have side ports on the side that allow you access very easily into the area, and you have uh, these on both sides. So, all right. They're pretty cool. Then inside this pocket here, we've got the main area. Now this folds down, um, it's padded, on the back and you get a pocket here to do whatever you want to do with. And on the inside you have these removable uh, shelves or um, padding uh, units here that will allow you for a uh, digital and SLR camera to put your lenses in place and configure them however you would like. It's pretty neat. You could configure this to partition off your FPV gear as well and protect your transmitter while it's in here. So these all come out and they're totally arrangeable. These are totally padded and a bit stiff. Uh, these, you know, some plastic in there that keeps it like that. So I held them with Velcro. Um, and you get, you know, you get two main dividers and you get, I think, about four of these other dividers, four or five. Um, three that are movable, it looks like, and two that are sewn on the ends. And you have these straps, these elastic straps that are also Velcroed in. So that's kind of neat. So you've got areas to mount things with this Velcro in here if you'd like. Um, and as you can see, when you open it up, you have access to the whole compartment. Which is great for uh, depending on how you want to put your FPV gear in here or your whatever you want to do with this bag. So then this um, area here. I can fold down and lock in down the bottom. So you have a main compartment open. And while it's not overly stiff open, if you close any of these doors up, um, whether it's just the sides or just the front or whatever, it becomes quite stiff. You know, it'll stand up on its own, uh, depending how you have everything weighed up. So this bag um, worked quite well. And you could have an antenna mast in here if you're using this for FPV. And you could probably have a full-size clover leaf right in here. Here's a here is a uh, clover leaf, which is a little smaller than a, than a skew planter wheel, I think. Um, but it, as you can see, you got room to pass this through here. Um, let's see, you could store this in here and pull it up if you want. Lots of times I just leave mine, I'd leave it like hanging out the side here, connected to a, um, connected to my receiver, and then I possibly a little mast that pulls up. But yeah, that's uh, that's this bag, and uh, it's a Rosewill DSLR camera bag, um, and there are two models. This is the larger model, two models on Newegg.com. It was thirty-nine dollars. It was delivered in a day, which is fantastic. Uh, with free shipping. Actually, I'm sorry, I paid the upgrade shipping. It was $7 for shipping. So, it's a great FPV bag, great gear bag in general. 
It looks tough, it looks like it would stand up to the abuse. Alright guys, have fun.